press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Guys, this video will be like rapid fire, but I will give you five tips to get high band score in IELTS testing examination. So without wasting time, let's start the first one, which is make a list of spellings. While practicing, if you make mistake in any spelling, note that spelling, remember and make a list. Trust me, it will help you a lot a day before your examination. You will not make spelling mistakes. So make a list. Trust me, it will help you a lot. Let's have a look at the tip number two, which is singular and plural. On an average, each student is losing one to two marks just because of singular and plural mistakes. So do not lose your marks. Do practice as much as you can. Do not lose your marks in singular and plural. Let's have a look at the tip number three, which is make a different strategy. There are several types of question forms in IELTS listening examination. So make strategy for each type of question form. Like how you will get answers of multiple choice questions. Right? You should have strategy for each type of question form. Let me give you one simple example. If you want to get correct answer of multiple choice questions, in that case, your focus should be on options, right? So the same way, make strategy for each type of question form. Let's start with the tip number four, which is 10 minutes. As you are knowing, you will get 10 minutes of time to transfer your answers. So transfer all your answers in just three to four minutes. And in remaining time, do these three things. First one, check spelling mistakes. Second one, check singular and plural mistakes. And third one, check word count. If the limit is one word, and if you are writing two words with the correct one word, you will not get marks because you didn't follow the given instruction, right? So let's have a look at the tip number five, which is homophones. So now the question is, what is homophones? So similar pronunciation, different spelling, and different meaning, right? Like two two, break break, right? So Focus on homophones and if you want to get correct answer, read your question properly. Read it twice, you will get correct answer. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked this video and enjoyed it. If you like, do not hesitate straight away. Hit the like button and share it with your friends. And if you have any question in your mind, do not hesitate. If you want to do proper practice, try my applications. You will get links in the description. So that's it for this video. Soon I will come back with new study material and tips for you. Till then, keep practicing. Bye-bye.